Hello again viewers, I would just like to say thank you well. Thank you very much in Dutch I believe, Rick. Check out Rick and Shelley on YouTube, thanks very much. Thank you very much for watching the videos from Amsterdam. I think we're in Rembrandt Square, I think. But there's a couple of things here. I've got lucky and I possibly found the cheapest advertised beer in Amsterdam. Watch till the end and I'll show you where I'm going. There's a wee clue there, I just panned by it. So let's take a wee walk round here. Um, just arrived here. Youth Hostel tonight, um, it's pretty decent, can't really complain about it, compared to last night. So, smoky cafes, before I forget, don't know if I mentioned it in a video earlier on, I was in a cafe, a coffee shop last night, they were playing Bob Marley, the place was jumping, I thought that's a great atmosphere, I'm going in there, I'll just have a beer, I don't smoke, so I'll just have a beer, and I asked for a beer, and they said, no, nope, only smoking in here, so I had to leave. <laughs> Um, some nice hotels around here, obviously I'm not staying in any of these hotels but there's a very interesting building just ahead here that I found where I can file an official complaint about age discrimination in the hostel last night watch till the end but I found the perfect place to stay tomorrow night if I stay the absolute perfect place, suited to a tea to me you'll see what I mean when we get there viewers so a lot of nice few restaurants and bars here, we'll walk right around the ones over here are very very busy Three sisters and a few other places. Um, I should have pointed out the big statue. We're going to come to another statue at the end. Don't say I don't give you a wee bit of culture, viewers. We'll wait till I show you. I'm, I'm walking straight into a, a big office in a minute to file a complaint. I couldn't believe when I walked around the corner what was here. Could not believe it. It's good atmosphere here. Good atmosphere everywhere in Amsterdam, to be fair. Really enjoying it. Um, okay. Rembrandt, what age did he die at viewers? Without cheating, without looking at Wikipedia, what age was he? The most famous visual artist of all time died at the age of 53. Did you know that? I just found out. I just went to Wikipedia. <laughs> so, you've heard a wee bit of Dutch in this video. I'm giving you a wee bit of history about famous artists. And watch till the end. I'm going to tell you about another famous statue at the end. Now, viewers... When I came round the corner here, look who was waiting on me. The damn offices are booking.com. I can go straight in and file a complaint with them. Straight in there, I'm going to show them the booking and say, where does it say you can't stay here if you're under 40? No, it doesn't. You send me an email after I booked it. That's a bit cheeky. I should go in there and file a complaint. I really should. Too busy, but we're also too busy. Okay, so we've got the old bell here in the corner. Beautiful buildings in Amsterdam. Um, a lot nicer than expected. I kind of knew what it was like, but until you get here, I don't really know. It's pretty cold. I'm surprised there's anybody really sitting out, to be honest. Yeah, they have got heaters there. This will get very busy later on, I would imagine. Starbucks there. There's a lot of chains and mix. I'm in a tourist, but I have to be honest with you. We will go down some side streets and do some videos as well, but while I'm here, I thought I'd show you the kind of main bits when I'm doing the videos two or three a day. You'll see some videos later in the week um, of different places. Uh, beer and barrels. I think just opened, pretty busy over there as well. Three Sisters pub, if you've came to Amsterdam you probably know a lot of these places. Look how busy it is over here. You need to be careful crossing the tram line, you forget. The tram coming actually, let's get across. Look how busy these places are. So I'm saying it's too cold to sit out, but what I've noticed about Amsterdam, it's pretty hardcore. People sit out in all weathers. In Scotland you'd hardly get them sitting out in this weather. I have to the jack off, mind you. Busy here, eh? I'll tell you what we accident I had in a minute as well. I've had a couple of accidents today. The first one is uh, a pen burst in my pocket. Ink all over me. Busy, eh? What's this one called? De Croon, I think it's called. Big screen above there as well. Nice. People sit my wee beer. I've had no beers today. If you missed the video pre previously, a beer uh, had in um, Dirty Nelly's, Amstel, pint, €6.70. I had a beer in another bar, it was €7.50. Um, I have found advertised cheaper beer around the corner, but there's a couple of catches I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to go left here. Right, let's go right through this wee gap here, viewers. Yeah, I had another wee accident, I'll tell you about in a wee minute. What's that place called? Rembrandt bar, I think it's called. Okay, pretty nice. 
think I came from that way, from memory, I've kind of got lost a lot of places. We side streets down here as well. You need to watch the bikes. Bikes just everywhere here. It's a nice atmosphere. Okay, let's go up here, viewers. I did promise you a bit of culture at the end, and also I'll uh, show you the cheapest advertised beer I've seen anywhere. A couple of wee side ones down here as well. The Hotel Atlanta, none of these hotels are within my budget. £38 I'm paying tonight. Here's a weird thing, viewers. A anybody let me know about this? Last night when I booked into the hostel, um, they took three euros for a tourist tax, and then the hostel tonight took nothing. So what's that all about? Surely it's the same policy in every place you go. A bit weird. I'm complaining over three euros, obviously, but it's just about weird one place asked for it. And I another Irish pub. A lot of Irish pubs here. Uh, there's quite a few pubs with live music near where I'm staying tonight. Um, I might be in a few. They've got a piano bar, there's a jazz bar, there's Bourbon Street, they've got blues on. There's quite a few. We'll need to wait and see. It's good to be atmosphere here as well. And they like the mountaineering, there's a K2 ski bar. Not sure what's down there. I'll go down there maybe at one point. We'll wait and see, viewers. Are you excited to see the bit of culture at the end? Can you see Statue of the Distance? Do you know who it is? Tell you a wee minute. So, uh, earlier on when I've done the video up where I'm staying, the square up there is really, really busy. This is a lot quieter here, although it was busy, you know, back there when we started from. A lot of these walking tours and bike tours are kicking about as well. They look pretty good. I'll just come up to the statue. A famous Dutchman. Absolutely famous. So here is the cheapest beer I've seen in Woody's. Half hour between two to nine. Three euros for a beer. I take it as a pint. And they've got various bucket deals and stuff like that. But unfortunately Woody's not open just now. So that's a bit of a shame, isn't it? Now nobody can accuse me of being a snob. Look at the places I've stayed in. You'll see in the playlist, hotels and apartments. I've stayed in four star hotels in Tenerife, other places. Um, and I've also stayed in zero rated um, hostels. So nobody can say I'm a snob, but that's a snob restaurant there. 1666, it dates back to. Now, wait till I show you where I should be staying tomorrow night if I was staying in Amsterdam. I don't know if I'm staying, but we'll wait and see. I'm enjoying Amsterdam. I'm not getting many videos done. And I've had three struck with YouTube. Um, not suitable for advertisements. <laughs> You're down near the red light district. Uh, that's where I'm staying maybe tomorrow night. They've just done it, built it just for me. The veteran. Look, surely you can't get refused. Age discrimination in there. The veteran hostel. Perfect. <laughs> right, wait till I show you this statue. Now, don't be complaining. I don't give you some cultural information. One of the most famous Dutchmen of all time, Thorbeck. Now, Thorbeck is a former Dutch Prime Minister, famous for drafting, I think, the Constitution of the Netherlands and the Liberal Democratic Revolution. So did you know that for us? Look at the history I'm giving you in this one, eh? <laughs> so, everywhere you go really around here, I've not seen any bad areas. The buildings are beautiful. Um, just amazing the amount of bikes that are here. There's not that much traffic. The bikes are just all over the place. And it's a, it's a city really geared for obviously walking and, and on cycles. These wee canal cruises I can buy all the time. I'll show you, they'll come out the other end. I've no time to go on one. A few people have recommended it, but I've got no time. Don't know what's down there. Looks lovely. Everywhere looks lovely, doesn't it? Uh, they're going to come out the other side. Let's see them. What's the name of that one? Uh, just Blue Boat. That's our website, blueboat.nl. Obviously, domain name Holland. Um, just a beautiful place. Really, really impressed Amsterdam. Um, obviously, not the cheapest. I mentioned it a few times. The accommodation is the main issue. Um, very, very expensive. But it's got character. Um, a chilled out vibe. Everybody's in bikes. It's got something for everybody. Um, Lively bits near the red light district. This bit here seems a bit chilled out down here. Um, up where I'm staying, kind of mix, quite lively it looks at night. And then uh, when the sun comes out in the summer, I, I can't even imagine how busy these places will be. Anyway viewers, I got lucky. 
I found Booking.com's head office to go and make an official complaint about that hostel last night. I'm just heading there just now. Thanks for watching your way out. Hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate all your support watching the Amsterdam videos. We'll see how they do. I'm not too sure how they're going to do. But thanks for watching, viewers. I'll see you on the next one. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you, the wee other accident I had is I was putting my socks on and I sprained a muscle in my stomach. It was agony. I nearly passed out, honestly. It was that bad. It's easing off now, so it's all, all good. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow, probably from here, Amsterdam, and uh, we'll see what's happening. Take care. I'll wait to go and speak to the veteran, see if they've got rooms. See you later.